tradition to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good block. Keep working the body. The Dragon's well off the mark that time. Scores up top with a left. Halfway through this round here. The Dragon's punch didn't come close. step back right there just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch well that's what happens when you have that kind of experience you're calm enough to know that range know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is the dragon's right hand working well that time he scored well tried the hook didn't get it Count down the final moments of this round. Blocks that punch. Don't look for Justin. Hey, you just... Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to land the jab. Blocks that punch. Back to the body. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. You know, we're early in this fight, but the man's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Little head knocking with that right hand. The man's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. He missed with that headshot. Keep working the body.
tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good way to protect the midsection. The man's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Last 10 seconds. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to That's shorten him up. I see. Back to the body! Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. The Dragon's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Blocks the head shot. That's it, just like that. Focus. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. He shook him up with that right hand. Good work by the Dragon. Wow, is he defensively sound. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. The man's punch is far off the target. A stinging uppercut by the Dragon. Pace yourself. Able to dismiss that body shot. Yeah. Finish with the hook. Pace yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Ten seconds to go in this round. Hey, keep your hands up. While things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Dragon. The man's not putting forth much offense at all. Now listen, I get it. You put forth some offense, you got hurt, you were stunned in this fight, so now you're strictly thinking defense. But at some point, he's got to change. Yeah, he does, otherwise he can't win this fight. And his opponent is just gonna keep coming, coming like that ocean. Bang it into that shore, and it's going to come further up the shoreline. It's not going to go away. The Dragons' defense did a good job you there, able to avoid that punch. <laughs> oh, hands up, hands up. That's a clean shot, able to get in with the right hand.
He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He's doing fine. You're okay. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Good job, buddy. Keep working the chair. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Head and body. Head and body. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right to the head with that right. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has the beat. He wants to get to it. The Dragon's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Focus. Keep moving. Keep moving. Man's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Jab, jab. Left and right, left and right. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the Dragon. Final 10 seconds. And bang, and away he goes. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. One, two, three, four, five. How you doing? You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? Just... Round number five has arrived. The Dragon's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. One, two, one, two. The man's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Halfway into round number five here. in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not Beat enough the of these punch. punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said, and it's just, it's not, it's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Work in the body! Comes right back at him with a left hand. 
You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. The Dragon's able to land a nice, clean left hand. And now you see him scoring well with the right. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things. And he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him. And they got to right now, they have to revive him. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Keeps working the body. The man's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. The Dragon's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Keep doing what you're doing! Reaching the halfway point of round number six. And he's holding. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. There you go. Left and right, left and right. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You got this one. Effective work with that flush overhand right. A headshot blocked. Come on, kid, focus. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. The dragon showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, show and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive <gasps> fundamentals. Keep working, Jack. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Keep moving. Keep moving. right there.
Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things. Did you see that? And for the second time tonight, he goes down. <laughs> The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Kick move, kick move, jab, jab, uppercut. The man's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. This round comes to an end. Teddy's scorecard through seven. How else could you have it? The Dragon's up big. He has scored knockdowns. He's been in complete control. Just holds on there. Keep moving, keep moving. Right. Nice. Relax, relax. Not able to land the headshot. The man's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him. You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow! That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. the fight the man's unable to beat the count knockout loss for him Dragon's power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockouts bring money. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.